Campbell, the Lions head coach, came out and said they are interested in signing Todd Gurley. They're working on getting a deal done um, within the next few days here, trying to get him into the building. Uh, for the Lions, I feel like that that wouldn't be a bad pickup. Uh, he's a solid, I know, he could probably get you 20 carries a game. I know he was used a lot, like in the Rams, and a lot of people were worried about his knees and his health conditions. But after, like, they did, like, this, his load management of only giving him the ball a certain amount of times, what team was he on last season? Falcons. The Falcons. And, and he, he didn't played... do didn't do shit there, really. Because it, the Falcons are a pass-first offense. You got Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley. Um, who was their tight end? Uh, uh, Jaden Hurst. Um, Hooper's on the... That's right. Yeah, but yeah, the Falcons are a pass first offense, and Gurley was really quiet. I don't even, I think he barely, I, I think he only had like five, six, seven hundred yards last season. It was not a very mem- memorable, uh, memorable season for him down there, but um, yeah, I mean, Lion, like you said, it'd be a good pickup for the Lions. They got DeAndre Swift, and they just picked up Jamal Williams from the Packers as well, so that was a good addition for them there. So the running back position's got to be right. I mean, right behind the rece- receiving core, kind of one of your deeper depth positions on the team as well, uh, just to keep guys fresh. It's a hard-hitting league with just these freak athletes that are just putting all this time and money and effort into their bodies to be at the top level that they are. And as a running back, you're really, you're taking the most hits out of anybody on the field, really. Um, so you got to keep those guys fresh. So, yeah, adding a third guy to that roster would definitely be good. Um, again, Todd Gurley in his year with the Falcons didn't really do a whole lot. So the, I could definitely see him getting more looks with the lions. Um, again, they, they lost some guys on the offensive side too. Uh, again, Galladay went over to the giants. So maybe they become a run first offense this year. If they can't really find their identity on the passing side. 